I've always had a fascination with pop-up cards. They're so fun. Now it may not be apparent on first sight, but this V-fold is the same as this, except some sections of the V-fold have been cut away there and there, and then some parts from the top. And if you notice that there's a continuous line holding all the pieces together so that they stand up together. So these two folds, the V-fold and the parallel fold can be applied to many different designs to help you make the card that you want to make. Pop-up cards. Here's some that my daughter made. And yet to complete these pages. This has potential to either be a card or a book. And here we have a V-fold, or two V-folds, to make a mouth, similarly here. So that's one of the most basic folds. Similarly, here is a V-fold, there's a V-shape, and the central crease follows the crease of the backing page. So these two are V-fold, and then here is a square fold or a parallel fold. So shows a Victorian scene. Now usually a pop-up card is made by sticking on strips of paper or a v-fold in order to make the pop-up mechanism but today i'm going to simplify by just making a series of series of cuts like this rather than having to glue it on which will really simplify the process So we'll have a go at making a V-fold, so a piece of paper, ideally thicker card, about 160 GSM would be better, but even paper, scrap paper works. So let's make the V-fold first. Let's make a cut where you'd like the fold and how big you want it. Okay, you should have something like this. And then just fold diagonally up to the where the cut ends and crease and then flip it over and crease the other way. This helps just make the mechanism fold up really smoothly. So you should have something like this. 
Sometimes it helps just to hold it like this and push it through like so. And give it a nice crease along there. Then you should have a very smoothly operating mechanism. And you could use that as a lifting muscle, if you will, to move your paper sculpture up and down. So that's the V-fold. Now we're going to have a go at making a square or parallel fold. Make sure the cuts are the same length. Otherwise it won't be parallel, that needs to be slightly longer. So that is level with this fold here, or parallel with that fold there. Fold it back over the other side. Push it through from the spine. Squash it flat. So you should have something like that. And there is your fold, your parallel fold. Now, there's my Victorian street with a street child hanging in the back of a carriage. Um, now I hand drew that one. I'm going to stick that on there and see how that works. Now, on this one, there are many strips of paper. Which adds dimension for the driver and the horse and the girl. I'm going to try and see what just one looks like. And then I may add another parallel fold here. We're making two more cuts for this to lift the horse separately. And I'm just going to put a dab of glue just to stick that on. Uh, glue stick is fine, but I'm just using a solvent glue just so it dries a bit quicker. Well, that's very simple. To add some more depth, I could make a smaller parallel fold here so that the horse is in the middle of the carriage and I will try that now so I'll attach the horse okay I'll place another fold which is about half the length or depth of the carriage so about there And again, fold in, fold the other way, just to really get that crease. And then again, push that through. I should have another fold. So I can place the horse at a diff different depth just to add a bit more dimension. So again, just a little dab of glue. Now as you can see here, it isn't reaching so I'll probably just stick take the glue from there and just stick it on the leg. Uh, I think that will that will do fine. 
So be careful only to get it on to the correct face. Okay. Now that did add a little bit of extra depth. Now ideally, I would decorate the background before with maybe some shops and some street lamps and then a cobbled street here, but I think that works really well. Now, this is the basis of most pop-up cards and you can apply these to your own designs. So enjoy and I look forward to seeing what you make.